And welcome back everyone to Nuts and Developments. In this tutorial, we're making a simple ads billboard which um, switches uh, images every like however many seconds you want. It's a very useful tool. For example, if you want to gain followers or you want to promote some product or something, this is the way you monetize your game. So this is very important. This is a very easy tutorial. I'll provide you guys with all the code, all models. I help you out if you have some problems in the comments or in my Discord. This is a very cool, useful, and simple tutorial. So let's just go ahead and get into it. And we're going to go ahead and start off by just searching for a billboard model. So go ahead and search up billboard. And you can use pretty much any of these as long as they don't have any scripts in them because all we need is the actual like shader model. I'm just going to choose this random one. You can go ahead and select the same one if you want, but that doesn't really matter. I mean, I would if you want to get the same exact results as me. So I just found some random one here. I'm going to go ahead and clear it, clean it up. So find whichever one's the display, right? So you can just go through these pieces. As you can see, this one is the image display. So I'm going to open it up, delete the previous picture and rename this component into display. Now, I know that the rest of these are just the frame around the display. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly group as a model and then rename it to frame or I don't know, the back of the billboard, something like that. We're not going to use this anyway. So under display, go ahead and um, click the little plus sign and then add a surface GUI and then under the surface GUI, you're going to add a frame and then under frame, you're going to go ahead and add a, you need an image label and then you're going to add another image label. And the reason I'm doing two is because that's how many images I'll be using for this tutorial. You can use more or less, but I would just start off, especially if you're following this video, just do two for now, just so you don't get mixed up. And then I'm going to go from top to bottom. So starting at billboard, just general. I'm going to go all the way down, add a tag, write bill, board, make sure you spell it the same exact way as I just did, because if you mess this up, your game, uh, your game will not work. And then in attributes, add a string, and then I'm going to call this string images. Also make sure you spell it the same exact way as I just did. This is going to be the ID holder for your images that you will use uh, on your billboard right you're done with the very top you don't have to do anything here 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 or here go all the way down to these and then rename the top one to current frame this is going to be the base so the very first image that shows up and then the second one is going to be next frame because that's going to be the next image that shows up and they're going to cycle. Make sure you spell these exactly like I did. Right now in this next frame, make sure it's this one. You're going to go to wherever it says position. Tap one on your keyboard, click enter. It should get set to 1010. Zero, one, zero. And then you're going to select all three. So frame, current frame and next frame. And then go where it says size. Again, tap one, click enter, and you should see your image get stretched all the way across the display. It should match it perfectly. Now, for this next part, make sure your game is published to Roblox. If you didn't do it yet, please click it now, because if you don't, it won't allow you to add images to your game just yet. So now that you've done that or you have already done it, click. I'm going to do the current frame first, so go to current frame scroll down to wherever it's uh it has the image link it has a placeholder for now click that add image choose file and then whichever two images you have go ahead and just tap click open and then you're gonna click create but i already have images imported so i'm just gonna use those here's one of them and then you're gonna do the same thing for the second one you're gonna click add again choose file create i don't have to do that because I already did right so I have one and two what you're gonna do now is once you have two images you're gonna 
quickly select this one's ID. And I know this is the ID for my Discord invite, so copy that, go back to wherever the billboard is, scroll down to this images, paste that in, click enter. And now again, you're gonna go back to images, select the second one, tap, copy ID, go back to billboard. Now, very careful, don't mess this up right here. Click this, right? comma, space, based on the second ID, and you should have two IDs. In your images, click enter. As you can see, they saved in there. Basically, that just stores the two images. Now, you're going to need a simple script, which I provide for you guys. So, in server script service, click the plus, add normal script. So, just script, not local script, just script. Erase everything in it. Now, if you go ahead and go into the description below this video and click the billboard script link, it should take you to this code right here, which you're going to go ahead and just copy all of it. Go back into your game and just paste it in. And I'm going to quickly explain what everything here does. So, basically, you're using a, a collection service and a twin service to look for um, the billboard by using its tag, so billboard tag, you'll find the billboard. Then it looks for images and those IDs that are separated by comma. It finds the display, which is the display, surface UI. Also, sometimes if your game doesn't work or has errors, make sure these match these and they're spelled exactly the same way. So like current frame, next frame, make sure they match each other. And then you have obviously your image one and an image two. If you have more, you would obviously add more. But I'm not going to. And as you can see, the next index after one is two. Pretty obvious. And this is the part where you're going to probably change it up a little bit. This is the wait time between every um, frame switch. So I have it set to five seconds. You can set it to less or more depending on how fast you want your billboard to uh, swap images. And then that just changes position and space and stuff. So let's go ahead and actually test it out. So click play. No errors show up, as you can see. And then we have this one image. As you can see, it swipes up, and the image gets changed to the other one. So, congratulations. You finished the tutorial. And then, obviously, if we wait a little bit more, five seconds, it'll switch back to the original one. If you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe. If you have any problems or concerns, go ahead and just message me in my Discord or comments down below. Either me or one of my trusted moderators will go ahead and help you out. And then comment down your video ideas for next week. And I will uh, obviously consider and hopefully pick yours to do next week. And see you in the next one.